Alright. Can you put Izzy on the bloody thing this time, though? Oh, yeah. He doesn't go by Spewis anymore. Yeah, Spewis you would say is that. Dead. Give him, like, three months. Yeah. For now, we respect his choices. No, I'm, we, I'm against this. We we put any garbage tag John has told us to exactly, put exactly that's all why the time. We should have learnt our fucking lesson. <laughs> <laughs> we can deal with one. Anyway, um, this widely noted to be one of Karin's hardest matchups, um, because Fox is probably the best at dealing with her pin and landing options between its combination of speed and combo ability. Yeah. Like, like Falcon the, also does really well for a similar reason, just isn't quite as damaging as Fox tends yeah. to be. Yeah. Like, that's one of the things I noticed when he was playing Nash. It was Nash would get in and he'd get a grab and it's just like, well, he got a one up air and it's like, Fox immediately gets one up air and he gets like, oh no, that's another two up airs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a 45 now. That's, that's exactly right. That. Yeah, both Falcon and Fox play the up air game. It's their favorite. It's where they well, up air you a bunch of times in a row. Yeah. Well, they took out like all their fun games, like, you know, down throw the the near game, the near game was a fun one. Uh, yeah, Nair's still pretty. Oh my god, that was yeah, but you really don't get, quick to catch. You that. don't get to play the near into another near into a strong move game. Yeah, no one rides the near plane anymore. Mm. Another thing, Corrin has a lot of relatively low landing lag areas, such as Nair, that can cover a landing really effectively. Because yep. trying to run in and punish a Nair, you're probably going to get hit by it before you actually get close enough to yeah. it. But Fox Fox is, Fox's speed just enough to really screw our areas and everything. Like, he was able to run in an up smash, whereas most characters can't even get like a dash attack or anything. Alright, Kong goes too deep. Kong not usually one to go too deep like that. Like, even when he goes for a fair and misses it, he's usually pretty okay. Yeah, I think he just accident fast fall or something. Yeah, it must have been. He doesn't have notches on his controller. Makes sense. How <laughs> are you going to shield drop on one of those things? True. Um, another general problem with this matchup that people tend to have, um, Fox, you expect, like, Super strong neutral game, extremely strong at like, to state and everything. But when you get him off stage or whatever, you can probably kill him. Yeah. Or at least he's going to take a crap load of damage or whatever else. Corrin can't really do that. Why not? All the aerials pop them up. Every one of them, except back air, which is hella slow and won't catch much. Yeah, but you much. know, like this is the thing that drives me mental. Is you know Fox is just going to fucking side beat. You know. Yeah, but what's she going to do to cover it? Back air. You mm. you go for. You jump off stage with back air, and you cover just going onto stage and going for ledge. In the time you've committed to that, Fox can have changed his course. But he won't, because he's a Fox main. I mean, you say that, but... It's when was the last tricky. time you saw a Fox main up B from the side? Oh, well, he doesn't have to. Like he Exactly. Can, he can, by the you time can, Corrin can jump out there to back air, um, Fox has time to double jump side B and go way past and land on stage. Now you got to be... Or, I'm talking, you gotta be like, hit them and immediately be running to back at them. Is that right. dead? No. Nah, no. not quite. That's basically the only yeah. option to cover up B, which is obviously pretty hard to time, and even yeah. then, techable. Well, like, I, yeah, I think the other thing you he could go for is just any of his aerials and pray for the stage spike, but Con's tech on those every day of the week. Yeah, Con, Con takes much better aerials at that yeah. any time. So, yeah, not exactly a reliable one. Uh, we're no longer in winners' finals, by the way. Just yeah, lose the semis. Lose the semis. Alright. Alright, what do we got? So, we're going straight back. Uh, not hugely surprising. Um, as much as Corrin loves Battlefield and stuff, Fox, Fox likes it a so lot better. better there, yeah. um, and... Despite the fact that Con really likes this stage a lot, uh, this is arguably one of Fox's worst stages. Most of the pro stages is yeah. worst. Well, it because he just gets nothing out of the platform. Yeah, he gets nothing out of the platform. He gets nothing out of those like, close sides because he kills everyone off the top. Mostly, yes. And um, he just dies super early to like chic fair combos and stuff. Yep, that's exactly right. So, typically a bad stage for Fox. Con really likes it and will counterpick it himself. For some reason, but you know, whatever. Personal player preference yeah. or whatever. Pinata Shield looks busted, but I know it's not. But it looks so busted. How do you mean? Like Pinata Shield. Ah, oh, yeah, it's pretty strong. Like, particularly because you jump to like get the pin happening. 
Nair out of shield is much better. Like, that's like frame. Yeah, but you can't punish with that like, second up tilt with it. That's true. That's just because up tilt is ridiculous. Most of the time, you can like just grab a second up tilt, though. Yeah, that's true. Like, the first one might be safe, the second one never is. And every fox seems to go for it, waiting for oh, the first yeah. one to try and be punished. Well, the second one combos when they don't shield it. Yeah, that's exactly right. All right, big read from Fox. Just I right, can't yeah. not. Con always ready to cover the jump option. It tends to be the one that most oh, commonly you, people pick these you, days. You can't just uh, you gotta punish that sort of shit. You can't just let them forward smash the ledge like that. Yeah, like you gotta know that it's gonna cover below. Um, Look, man, like, like, like you're playing a sword character. You can jump back and like. He could have jumped back side peak. Get 20% and land on the stage. I think that still loses to Fort Smash. Well, like, Fort Smash is huge. Yeah, it's huge, but it doesn't cover the ledge from that far back. You can't pin from that far back. I don't think he would have been able to do that and live. All right. Yeah. Lewis managing to catch another side B with the um, Paralyzer shot, but with it uncharged, he wasn't in a position to actually finish him yeah. off for it. Like with a stronger charge on that side, yeah. B, he's dead. It's over. You got paralyzed at 60, you're dead. Yeah, you're super dead. And that's really the one advantage that Karin tends to have. It's just her kill power is pretty insane. Like Fox is insane as well, but yeah, Fox is better, but it's not by a whole lot, which is yeah, rare. Like Fox, Fox will really reliably kill you at 90. Uh, the wrong hit will kill him at 60 in this sort yeah. of matchup, which is pretty fun. I, I'm a huge fan of Fox dying at 60. You should play melee or 64. You ever seen that fool get grabbed at zero and die? Ooh. Uh, hey, he lived right. it. Yeah, mid-stage, um, without rage at all, um, yeah, is pretty well fine. Oh, God. I don't think Con realized Lewis still had his jump. Yeah. Because, yeah, that would have been a perfect option. That would have ended the game immediately, had he not had his jump. He could have traded with the up B and won. But yeah, that's going to do it. Yeah. Intelligent play keeping his jump there. Lewis! Well done keeping his jump there. Well done. He doesn't, he doesn't care. He's fucking into the game. Yeah. He's just He's trying to beat a fox. Doesn't happen often for him. Hey, I said He beat Duon and then at Expangong. And then who did he lose to? We don't talk about that. Because we don't remember his name. <laughs> <laughs> I do remember it. I know no, who it is. No. Right. Not quite so oblivious. But anyway, we've got a game three situation in losers semis. Not something necessarily that you'd expect. Um, as much as we talk about SA being kind of a stacked region, the top three are very dominant. Yeah, it's compared to a us big lower. gap between three and four. Yeah, absolutely. Usually you know about. And yeah. And for so long that was just goes to Nikes and, and now and then it was Con yeah. and John Bombo. Yeah. Then Rust Rose to hate us all. Oh my god, laser camping on FD. Let's go melee. Yo, yes, let's go shit. melee. <laughs> the brawl the classic. Shoot lasers until they get close since I be through them. That's the fact. Go to the other yeah. stage. Well Fox can do it as well. He gets three lasers out in a short hub and brawl. Oh, that's gorgeous. Stunning, in fact. Three, this time yeah. doesn't catch the jump. That's interesting. Con's been doing so well to cover that option because it is a very strong one yeah. in general. Um, and Lewis has gotten oh, away well. with it again. Con is yeah. very lucky to be getting away with these side beats. Uh, it's like I know it's low lag, but like it's he's doing them to the point where Lewis is like at the point where his side B ends, he could just grab him or something. Almost like you'd think so, but. Karin, a bit slow. Fox is yeah, not yeah. laggy enough. Like, Karin's run speed's pretty trash. Well, that's what I mean. Like, half distance, sure. But, like, when you're like being right, when ends right at Karin, I'm like, oh, that's not a good. As long as he's... Like, if Lewis is throwing out any move, that would yeah. like, would be enough yeah, to keep him from punishing it, right? But like, yeah, that, like was, that was right a better one, yeah. There. Yeah. Um, and... Con's recognized this and is making really good choices about yeah. play like this FD choice working out. You don't really see FD being camped as much yeah. as like you know no, Fox Puff it's on never whatever. Traditionally camped. You don't. Yeah. There's no like top platform shenanigans. There's no. Like, you can't really do that. 
But yeah, like Con just knows he can run. He can run forever and just laser. And it's pretty safe against yeah, his character. Cops 35 for it, yeah. Luckily, he managed to have a fast enough error that he can mash that out as soon as the out tilt stopped working. Yeah, that's the sort of situation where I'm like, just jump up back here. You know he's going to side B, dude. Mm. Like, you had the time. You just let him yeah. grab the ledge for free. Yeah. But, like, the thing that annoys me is people that just shield on stage, like, throw out anything with an active hitbox. And that's, like, Corrin's biggest strength. He's got active hitboxes for days. Mm. Like, at least the aerial is like. Yeah, the aerial is like, How's Fox active. getting through that? With side but it beat. just pops him up. It's not. But you get, you get damage. Yeah, you get damage. Better than, like, you know, doing literally oh, nothing. Oh, good kick. Yeah. Well done. Now he's. Con not prepared for that trap at the ledge. But it's still a huge lead to get back given the way that Con's played this game. Yeah. So that's. And, real he's changed, sad. and he's changed the pace entirely. Like, now he's staying near him. It's, I mean, he's copying damage for it still, but he's looking to end it. Like, he's staying near him, yeah, he's trying to bully his space. Like, this last 30 or 45 seconds is played at this ledge without respite. You can't down out with forward smash Fox going to the ledge with Garen, can you? Mm, forward smash would clank. Yeah. And down to, I don't sure, would hit below. Like, you'd catch him if he doesn't space it right, but that's yeah, about obviously. it. Oh, went for the back here again and just a teensy bit too slow. All of a sudden, Curran's... This is in this. Yeah, no. Oh, in, yeah, this is Con's efforts, in Con's efforts to bully tip a pin. him, he's actually put himself in danger. Like, he's absolutely in kill position well, like at this was, point. Yeah, it was working out until, you know, he didn't kill him. <laughs> it was like Until he, he couldn't find the move. It's like, now he's at, what, 145? Most and Lewis of playing... Incredibly safely, knows exactly how much space he has when he is or isn't free to run. Yeah. But Fox, being the faster character, he owns basically all space. Like as far as his frame data yeah, goes yeah. and everything, like he, Lewis has to respect so much of what's going on. No, he just goes for it. 